All right, so card opening take two. Let's get this out. I got a Rebel Crash. Um, here is the QR code for you guys for this one. We go one, two, three to the front. Take the energy out. We got Lamprint, Lucha, Mulgrim, Natsu, uh, I just spoiled what it is. Hollow is Druidon, and the reverse is Nulsery. Anyways, uh, Barroach, Swovet, Applin, and Timpole. And then I want to just move these really quick for Ikoria, which was the other one. We got, I'm going to just kind of flash through these since I don't really know their names by heart. And I just skipped past the rare, I'm sorry. I got Luris the Dream Den for the rare. All right. And then lastly we have a DC Universe pack to open. Let's check it out. Oh, I got another. God, all I've been getting is doubles with these. We got Green Lantern, the second. So let's go to the haul video. Here is the weekly haul it has of so far, minus two things that I'll grab in a minute. Uh, just to show you guys what I got for comics. We got four Transformers this week. Two Refractors. I'm still trying to find a third one. Hoist. And Dark of the Moon Megatron. We got Lily Potter. I got that off screen because I was kind of getting ticked that I kept getting doubles. You already know I got Green Lantern. Paris. And a oddly colored Charizard, which I love. I think that's my favorite of the knockoffs right now. Also off screen, I got Vegito, Infinite Radiance, and Doria brimming with power. Along, and you guys already know about Luris the of the Luris of the Dream Den, and Dorilladon with Milfury. I got uh, the Hulk and Wolverine two pack. I also got the DJ RX or R three X. I got Curse of La Llorona, and. Next, we will be showing what I got for, right, for comics and a book. I picked up Star Wars Myth and Fables, um, Star Wars Adventures number 25, and the Three Jokers uh, first book with the promotional Joker card. Um, I actually have it on the back of the Magic card right now, but yeah, um, I'm halfway through right now, and this is really cool. I might start buying more Batman comics. I, might do, I was thinking today I might do Batman and Spider-Man um, along with Star Wars since I'm finally starting to catch up. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. So since I um, basically were able to clean out all my CDs, I moved all my DVDs and now I made this my, what I'm calling my monthly um, binder. Sorry, the camera's acting strange again with the focusing. Um... I'm going to try this in a second one more time. All right, guys. This is actually not me shaking. This is very strange uh, when it comes to the camera working. But um, so everything in here is basically what I've accumulated over a month, and I clean it out at the end of the day uh, or at the end of the month. So let's wrap up this video with a All quick right, guys, review. Something's going on with that camera, and I don't understand why. But um, we're going to wrap up this weekly vlog with the review of the Poe Dameron Freefall book. I literally just finished it this morning. That's why this uh, vlog is a day late, just because I wanted to be sure to be able to finish this. Um, I really liked it. I liked how it tried to fill that major plot hole if you read all the books for episode 9 about Poe being a spice runner. When he originally was supposed to be working with the uh, New Republic... And everything like that. Um, I really did enjoy it. I thought, put honestly, out of um, all the new characters, Poe's like my second favorite of the new Disney characters um, in the Disney trilogy. 
sequel trilogy. Um, but I will say, this made me like him more, and uh, it kind of lets you get into his head as a young boy that's kind of in over his head. Um, it was a very fun read. Honestly, it took a little longer than I would have liked it to to be a read. Um, but yeah, it's a good book. I give it a 10 out of 10. I suggest picking it up and reading it yourself. Um, and the next book that I will be reading is Star Wars Myth and Fables, um, followed by Dark Legends. Then I'll be on Thrawn Ascendancy. So, uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow is actually going to be a last-minute video, which is going to be a reaction to the Mandalorian Season 2 trailer. Um, just an over-analysis of it and talking about it, because I have seen it, I think, twice so far. Um, but that's been a few days ago, so I only remember one part of the whole trailer. Uh, maybe two, so we'll be checking that out. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And thank you guys.